understand where I come from. Every day you wake up, every day you leave the house, you're taking a chance on going to the federal penitentiary and getting killed. You know, all my closest friends gone. You know what I'm saying? I'm, they either doing a whole bunch of time or they out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's come to see. Hello, my name is Troy Horn. And I um, just want to get straight to the point. There's some pretty good money on the table about reforming the prison system or the justice system. Um, so today I want to share a story that inspired me, but also taught me compassion. In today's story, I want to talk about David Neighbors. David Neighbors grew up in poverty. You know, he went to school, really having no father there. David was in trouble a lot growing up in and out of boys school to eventually David ended up going to prison. But David found when he got out of prison, having a child of his own at this time, that he wanted to do the right thing. So he got out here and he filled out applications. He was turned down by jobs after jobs after jobs because they asked that question, are you a convicted felon? So being denied so many times, David only went back to what he only knew, which was the streets. And eventually David got under investigation, a federal investigation. And David was painted as this vicious, horrible, violent criminal. He needed to be locked up forever. Because it's guys like him that make this world a worse place. So they gave David a life sentence in the federal government. Life. But that's not what inspired me. That's not what taught me compassion. What taught me compassion was it was a Wednesday afternoon. It was around 2.50 in the afternoon. Right after school was let out. And there was a driver speeding through the neighborhood and he was very intoxicated. As he was speeding through this neighborhood, there was a bus that was coming down the street. Little kids, elementary kids. And that guy burrowed through that stop sign and he smacked that bus and that bus flipped on the side. Those kids were screaming for their moms, for their dads, for anybody just to help. They were terrified. They were talking about five-year-olds. Through the bravery and feeling compassionate for those kids, there was a window bust out, the emergency window in the back. And he opened up that emergency door and one by one got every single one of those kids to safety. That guy was David Neighbors. He saved those kids. He felt that compassion. He felt it for them. And he acted on it. Can you imagine getting a phone call after sending your kids off to school? Say, hey, I need you to come identify your child's body. Through the bravery of David, it didn't happen that way. The drunk driver had an alcohol level of 0 0.30 many times over the alcohol limit. He got probation. David got life. So that inspired me to do something great because it was guys like David. The guys, God's not gonna let that go unchecked. So he sent me and there's many others like me. So it inspired me to get back out in my community, to spend time to get my face out there. 
to not just be a statistic, but to be Troy. So as I started getting out in the community, I started getting my face seen. I eventually led hundreds of people to getting the records cleared and expunged in my city. David inspired me. He taught me compassion. And only that comes from another human being to another. This is what we're missing in the world. But I had fun healing myself. But I believe we can have fun doing this too. Thank you for your time. I've come up with a fun way to teach compassion. Um, and compassion is really dealing with all the heart. And this is what's going to drive the system of this program that I've created. And I want to show you something that can make some sense a lot of places and just not my community, but all over everywhere. All right. So the first time I had to ask myself exactly how much time, how much money am I worth as a human being for one hour of volunteer time in my community. And I got an assistant that helps me. So how much money am I worth for one hour of community service volunteered in my community? And the answer to that one hour volunteer time was $28.54. Now who stated that? independentsector.org independentsector.org and the reason why they have that number is because at $28.54 an hour at union workers all around the nation as a labor worker the least they can pay them is $28.54 an hour that's how they come up with the time of your labor that it takes to clean up your community by volunteering one hour all right, so we all know this. We got the concept. For my time volunteer, one hour in my community, I'm worth $28.54. Now, I have volunteered over 1,500 hours in my community, and I keep going. But here's where it becomes great at. Because I got to thinking, if I'm adding value to my community as an individual, and how come I cannot get a, just not the feeling of satisfaction from doing something great, from helping others, but maybe a great incentive that can help me want to be able to want to volunteer time. So I came up with a great concept. And here's the concept. For every hour you out here volunteering your time, we're going to make sure that it's worth every penny. Okay? Now, during this incarceration situation that we have going on in the United States. We know that to house a federal inmate for one year costs $36,299.25 per year. We know that. And we found that under indiana.gov maybe is where we found it set to house one federal inmate for one year taxpayers pay for these inmates to be there. Oh, I got a great thing. This inmate is that drug dealer. And that drug dealer divert, deserves a second chance that I told you. And how God is not going to let that go unchecked. So I got a great plan at that. For every hour that me and his family is out here volunteering our time, making the community better through this program, then how come we can't exchange that time out? At $28.54 an hour, you take that times 1,300 hours of volunteer time equals 37,102 bucks. That's exactly the same amount of money that it takes for us taxpayers to house one inmate for one year. Per year. 
Me and a couple guys can come knock this 1300 hours out. But in exchange for that, you take a year off his sentence. So that way us taxpayers don't have to pay on him and that he's got a great support system when he comes home. We just added 37,102 bucks into our community by just volunteering this many hours. The man's got a 30 year sentence. Let us help us knock it down. Let us exchange some of the time out for it. Let us volunteer our time and get a hand out here. And that way we feel good about what we've done with the time that we volunteered. Because we know it's going to that next man, to that next mother, to that next father, to that son, to that daughter, to that grandpa, to that grandma. It's been affected by these incarceration system. But not only we're just adding value to our community. Now, for the ones that's not affected by the incarceration system, we got something great for you too. And what it is, is, is that at this event, by you volunteering so many hours of your time in the community, we're gonna hold a special event for you. And during this event, um, we're gonna give you what's called a bracelet, all right? This is the bracelet right here, let's just say. All right, it's an ugly little bracelet, but whatever. All right? So during this event of this bracelet, it's an LED bracelet and it lights up. All right? For you volunteering your time, showing compassion, we're gonna give you a free admission to the greatest event that you've ever gonna experience. We're gonna give you the biggest concert that you've ever seen. By volunteering your time, you've earned your way in with one of these bracelets. And guess what? This is where the heart of it is because there's many vows that comes with the heart. So during this process, that if I volunteer 200 of my hours in my community through this program, I got that free admission bracelet. Well now, it's the buddy system. Because now we believe in loving thy neighbor. And my neighbor wants to go. So by me volunteering my time with my neighbor, he gets two for one. So that way his time of getting his free admission really doesn't have to be 200 hours. It's really only gonna take us 100 if we both split it. But the more knowledge I'm learning as I'm out there, the more I'm picking up on. When you got your hands on all these people, periodically, consistently, this is where we need to teach compassion. And the reason why I say that is because of the huge problem that we're having with this internet situation, social media, it's raising our children. And at this point, the only way that I can figure out and that I do know is I had to start asking questions about what is the internet? Does the internet have feelings? Can it feel things? The internet can't feel compassion. It can describe it, but it can't feel it. Us as human beings feel that. At this point, while we got our hands on all these people, why not teach them compassion? The golden rule, treat others like I wanna be treated. The reason why we're standing and we're saying I is because we're standing accountable for ourselves. At this event, it's an all day event. And one of these bracelets right here that all of our volunteer participants earned their way into, this is how you make them great friends and introducing them to each other in a great fun way. The bracelet that you earn, that, admit, that gets you your mission in, your bracelet matches somebody else's bracelet out there. Go find Waldo. If you can find him, we got great incentive prizes that we're gonna give away. But that way now I just created what's called a three second rule. Hey, my name's Troy. I'm just trying to see if my bracelet matches yours. Have a good day. Hey, my name is Troy. And at that point, that social distancing becomes not so distant. Now we're interacting with each other and we're meeting new people without being scared of them. Because we all got there on the same way by volunteering our time and showing compassion. 
have a great plan in store. But the greatest thing is, is that for the ones like me, I want to be able to volunteer my time in my community and I want it to mean something. I want to get something in exchange for it. And I want to exchange my time out for his. So he can come home and be with the working class. That way he won't have a problem because we're going to expunge his record. We're going to get him on the right track. We're going to give him a life after life that he's experienced. I pray that this message gets to the right people because I do have some great things in store. And I do know how to bring some of those people home. And I do know how to make us all feel compassion, something that the internet can teach that has to come from another human being to another. Thank you for your time. Made bad decisions, I block out the news, turn my back on religion.